Raised near Albuquerque, Joshua Cuparamo made his way back to New Mexico for the Da Vinci Conference. He was in town after being on a plane from China for about 13 hours. It's a whole society that runs on relationships, essentially, and not on rules. And so these interpersonal relationships matter a great deal, but they also take a lot longer to cultivate. So probably the most obvious thing when I first moved there was just discovering that uh, just because you've met somebody once or twice, you're not friends with them. In the U.S., if you meet somebody once or twice, you can sort of get to know them, you can do business with them. In China, it takes a much, much longer time to get to know people. China is where he's placed his focus for the last decade after working as the foreign editor of Time magazine. I loved being in journalism, but I wanted to have the chance to do something a little bit, to go a little bit deeper. And so I sort of looked around the world and I said, you know, where are the places that are interesting? Uh, where there's a lot of change going on and where it's possible to go there and really um, really try to be the best at it or among the best at it. And so China was an obvious choice. This was in 2001, 2002. And I had been interested in China uh, as a journalist because it was a great story. Um, and so I decided to move there just to try to understand it better, frankly. Uh, you know, what I didn't anticipate is that being there would really change the way I thought about the world. Um, it would strengthen my sense of, I'd say, my American values at the end of the day, uh, and also give me a tremendous appreciation for the complexity of what that country is facing. Rummo left journalism just as the web was changing everything. He doesn't think that's a bad thing, but it might change the skills today's journalists need. You know, we're at a period of real renaissance in the media business as the internet comes online, and I think that's going to lead to the creation of a lot of new and very interesting and exciting journalism platforms but it makes it much more challenging. In my era of journalism, you could really free ride on existing platforms. You know, I worked at Time Magazine, I didn't build Time Magazine, I just showed up and I could write cover stories, it was very easy. Uh, that's not the case today. Time Magazine is you know, quickly becoming irrelevant uh, and it, it, magazines in general are struggling. So whole new platforms are gonna have to be built on which people can practice journalism. And that's more challenging, it's also more exciting uh, but it changes the logic. So in my day when I started, what you really wanted to do was go out and be the best at something so that you could then function on these already existing platforms. These days, I think actually the, the, the real skill probably is going to be to build those platforms. Rummel wrote the 2004 book, The Beijing Consensus, and has advocated increasing ties between the U.S. and China. Sloan Patton, Care to BG News.